This is the Roco double deck stock cab control unit, so it's the new Roco one which is the full length double deck stock for the Deutsche Bundesbahn. As supplied it is for conventional 12 volt DC operation on two rail and I've got the body off. There's three clips down each side, you can see the, the, the clips here if you ease those out, you can gently ease the chassis out. You can see it was a bit tight and a uh, little bit of paint was actually bonding the, the body to the, the side. But once that was unclipped, the body came off relatively straightforwardly. The top lighting section remains within the body. You can see there's contacts here and inside the body. At the front is the decoder interface and this will control the the lighting so red and white lighting and the high beam lights and the destination board light here. The instructions aren't particularly clear but there are three jumpers on this side when it's in analog. Pull the first one off and that one just put somewhere carefully back in the packaging. These two oops transfer over in the same orientation so they're they're linking like that um, and pull this one off and transfer it to the other side as well so they've used the jumpers instead of a blanking plug in here um, which is a bit unusual the blanking plug would have done the same job but we've moved the jumpers across the position where um, they work for digital and I've got a Lent Silver 21, a uh, Silver Plux 22 decoder, sorry. So it's the Plux interface inside the model and we will install that. Oops. Doing this one handed with the camera isn't to be recommended. So with the decoder in, um, I've programmed some CVs to do with the function outputs. So basically linking different lights to different function numbers. And the changes I've made are CV36 I've put to 16, CV39 I've put to 0, and CV47 I've put to 0. So CV36 I've linked to output 5, which is the destination um, lights up here. CV47 I've turned off, so I've put it to 0, so that uh, when you've got the headlights on and the main beam on, you don't end up with the main beam when you change direction. So I've turned off output 1 in the reverse direction. And CV39 um, I've set to zero as well. It would just that would have put the destination on function five. So there are just a few changes to the setup that the lens chip is delivered in. Uh, you've got to appreciate that manufacturers can put these pins to whatever they please so Quite often when you're setting these things up, you, you'll find that the lights aren't controlled by the function you expect. Okay, I've got the body back on. So we've got function 0 controls headlights, taillights. Function 2 is the destination light. And function 1 is the high beams. Currently on address 3, but you can change that as well. Quick word of caution, um, because the cab control only has LEDs and these are only drawing milliamps, they may not read properly on the uh, programming track. So I find the easiest solution is to put a loco, mo a loco on the track at the same time, do the programming and then reset the loco back to its original settings. But there is actually now a shortcut because the new Lent system is Railcom enabled and the 
decoder as Railcom, we can do these changes on the main. So I go into programming on main. So I'll look at the. Actually, if I quickly escape, sorry, let's turn those on. Program on main. I'll look at CV35 that controls the high beam lights. So it's showing a value of 4 at the moment. I go in, turn it off, write it to 0, and write, you see they go out. I'll reallocate it back to 4, and they come on again. So you can do your programming changes on the main using the Railcom to read the value back.